Hey guys, it's Genevieve and in this video we are going to learn 5 tips that you absolutely need to know if you're getting started on Procreate. And yes, I'm talking about technical tips on how to use the app, but I'm also talking about some advice I wish I had when I first started drawing on my iPad Pro. Let's get started! Tip number one, you have to learn the basic gestures. Procreate is an app that has a very simple interface. As you can see, there are not a whole lot of buttons all over the place. But what that means is you have to really master the basic gestures in order to have a good workflow. The first one we have to learn are zooming in, zooming out, and rotating. But they're really easy because there's pretty much the same thing as you would do on other devices such as your smartphone or a touchscreen uh, at a store or something. So to zoom in, take two fingers and just pinch them outward. To zoom out, it's the opposite, so you take your same two fingers and you pinch inwards. To rotate, you just have to rotate your fingers on the screen and you can see that the artwork is going to follow them. Now let's say that you want to come back and have your artwork just fill in the screen like we did uh, when we first started. You take your two fingers and you pinch them in really quickly and you can see that the artwork is just going to fill in the screen. So let's say that I want to add a third leaf here in the bottom. The quick way to do it would, do, would be to do a copy and paste and there's a gesture for that too. So I'm just going to quickly use the selection tool here to select my leaf. And if I take three fingers and swipe them towards the bottom part of the iPad, it's going to open the copy and paste menu, which allows me to go and select copy and paste. And the app is going to paste a leaf on top of the first one. Now I'm probably going to want to move it because I didn't want to have a third one paste uh, just right above the, the other ones. So what you can do when you have this arrow tool here selected, which is automatically going to be the case when you do a copy and paste, is you can use the same zooming in and zooming out as well as rotation gesture that we just learned. But instead of moving around your canvas, it is going to change the size of your uh, brand new selection or what you just copy and pasted basically. So I can just place my leaf where I want it to go. And then when I'm done, I can just click back on the arrow here and my basic gestures of zooming in and zooming out are going to apply on the entire canvas again. Now let's say that I change my mind and I decide I don't want a third leaf. I can just undo what I did by tapping on a screen with two fingers and you can see it deletes the last thing that I created. Let's say I'm really, really <laughs> indecisive and I decide I do prefer it with three leaves. I can redo with three fingers. Okay, now let's say I would like to add some hair clips in this girl's hair that are the same color as the earrings that she's having here. I can just simply zoom in and instead of going and trying to pick a color that is similar by using the sliders here, I can simply hold my finger on top of the color I want and you can see that your brush is now going to have that same color. So if I zoom out, I can now draw my hair clips. Now let's say that I don't like the three hair clips because like we just said, I am very undecisive. Instead of doing a bunch of separate undos by tapping with two fingers, I can just wiggle three fingers on the canvas and it's gonna erase everything that was on that layer. If you're brand new with design softwares, you probably heard the word layer and had no idea what it meant. In that case, no worries, make sure to stick around until the end because tip number five is gonna be all about layers. Tip number two is to take your time to explore all the brushes that come within Procreate and to find your favorite and to then stick to that one. And you're probably thinking, Genevieve, you're crazy. There are so many brushes that come with Procreate. How and why should I just pick one? Well, if you're starting to play music, you're not going to go to the music store and buy a piano, a guitar, a saxophone, a drum, and a mandolin. You are going to pick one instrument, and you're going to practice until you get good at this one, and maybe then you will branch out to a different one. And it is the same thing with Procreate brushes. It's really easy to get carried away and try a bunch of them, but you're going to lose a lot of time, and you're also going to struggle getting a very defined style, because your artwork is just going to look all over the place, unless you are really a professional that spends hours every day drawing. And even then, I draw children's books or illustrate children's books for a living, so I spend hours and hours every day in Procreate. And yet, I draw entire books using just one brush. 
So if I can do it, you can definitely do it too. Tip number three, use quick shape and quick line. Just like the name says, quick shape and quick line allows you to draw beautiful shapes really quickly. So let's say we start with a really simple and quick line. If you keep your pencil on the screen, you don't lift it up straight away, the software is just gonna make this line look so much smoother and just perfect, basically. But it doesn't just work with lines, it also works with more complex shape, such as a rectangle, and even a circle. So anything you draw, basically, as long as you keep the pencil on the screen for a little while before lifting it up, the software is just gonna make the lines smoother. But you can also take this trick and bring it to the next level. If you bring in another finger that you keep on the screen as well, you can see that it makes the shape an actual perfect shape. So before that, the software made the shape just rounder and smoother, but it was not a perfect circle. But with the second finger, it made it a perfect circle. You can also resize the shape that you just created by dragging your pencil towards the outside of the iPad to make it bigger and towards the inside to make it smaller. Just make sure that you don't release your pencil, otherwise when you do, you're gonna lose this quick shape selection. Tip number four, use autofill. Autofill is one of these things that if you don't know about it, you're gonna lose a whole lot of time, but it's a very simple trick to use. Let's say I want to fill in this shape and have it completely white and decided to use my brush and just start drawing in. You could see that it would take forever. However, if I just went here and clicked on the active color circle here and dragged it over my shape, you can see that it just automatically fills it in. Tip number five, make layers your best friend. Layers are just like transparent pieces of paper that you would stack on top of each other and that will allow you to quickly reorganize the different elements of your artwork. The way to access the layers in Procreate is by tapping on the two little squares here at the top. And you'll see that you have basic layers that always are there whenever you create a new canvas. So you have a background color, which you cannot draw on, you can only change the color, as well as layer one, which is a regular layer. Let's say we use the tricks that we learned before and draw a beautiful circle that we fill in, oops, in green. If we go back to the layers, we now see that there's a preview of the shape that we just created in this little square here on the left. If you swipe your layer towards the left, you're gonna see three options that appear. You have clear, which erase the layer. You have duplicate, which creates a copy of the layer. And you have lock, which locks the layer, and what that means is basically you cannot draw on that layer anymore, so it protects uh, that layer. You can create new layers by clicking on the plus icon here. And what that does is, let's see if we draw a new circle with a different color. What that does is it keeps elements separate, separated. So if we wanted to move them around, we could click on this arrow here, and you can see there are independent shapes. You can also rearrange the layers by dragging them on top of each other or below each other. So just tap on the layer and move it and you're gonna see that the shape that was on top before is now below it. You can also change the opacity of a layer, which is really helpful and you wouldn't be able to get that effect uh, if you are not using a layer. And a way to do it is to click on this little N here, which is gonna open a bunch of options that are a bit advanced for this tutorial, but I will make sure to do a different one to cover them. But it also opens the opacity slider here, and if you move it, you see that your shape becomes slightly transparent, and you can now see the layers that are below it. Sometimes you might end up having a bunch of layers and your file just becomes a bit confusing. You can group layer. The way to do it is you swipe your layers toward the right, and that way you can select many of them at the same time. And when you do that, you're going to see you have a delete option that appears at the top as well as a group option. And if you click on group, it creates a new group. Like I said, that is really helpful if you have a bunch of layers. And you can hi also hide the individual layers of a group by just clicking on this arrow here, which is going to collapse the group. It doesn't merge the layer together though. They're still separate layers. They're just kind of hidden, which makes the layer panel just easier to follow. 
You can also hide the layer with, without deleting them by just clicking on this little check mark here. And you can do the same with groups. If you have two layers that you want to combine together, you want to merge them, you take your two fingers and you literally just squish them together and now that you see that you combine them in one layer. The final thing we are quickly going to look at is the options that you get when you tap on a layer that is already selected. You have a bunch of options that open here, including some that are pretty obvious, such as rename, select, copy, fill layer, which is going to fill the layer with the color that is selected, as you can see, as well as clear, which clears the layer. And also alpha lock, mask, invert, and reference. These four last options are a bit more advanced, so we're not going to talk about them in this tutorial. But I will make sure to make a tutorial that just covers all these options because they are really, really useful too. If you're interested in these options, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss the tutorial when it comes out. So these were five essential tips that you absolutely need to know if you're getting started with Procreate. But believe me, there are way more than just five. So if you want to see more, like this video and leave a comment below if you have a specific tutorial you would like to see. Otherwise, I'll see you soon.